A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that God John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Mandala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciples went out and came to the tomb. They both ran but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the barrier clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the barrier clothes there, and the cloth had, that had covered his head, not with the barrier clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had, he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Kindly stand. Let us dance. <laughs> Kindly stand. <laughs> Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hold your wife. Hold someone close to you. We are going to dance to show our appreciation to God. The choir. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ is risen today Hallelujah How triumphant holy day Hallelujah Put in once a Yes, today is a joyful day. With 
a sense of joy and excitement. I want to say also a big happy Easter to you all. Now, the Lent is over. The Lent is over. And the question on our minds is, what next? The Lent is over, and the question on our minds is, what next? This is where our readings today come in. As soon as Jesus rose from the dead, he gave instructions to Mary of Mandala or Mary Mandalene that the good news of the resurrection should be spread to others. And Mary of Mandala carried the good news. And Jesus told her, Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and to their Father, to my God and to their God. The resurrection of Jesus, the Easter celebration, would not be complete if you and I, if we do not proclaim what we have seen and what we have heard. This is exactly what Mary Mandalene did. She became an apostle to the apostles. She carried the good news. She carried joy to others. In our first reading, we see Peter proclaiming boldly a summary of the life of Jesus to a group of Gentiles. And the Gospel of Luke says, while Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit descended upon all who were listening. So today is about proclamation, proclaiming the Gospel, proclaiming the joy, proclaiming the peace that comes from Jesus. Do we consider the resurrection of Jesus as good news? Do we consider the Easter celebration as good news? If yes, do not keep it to yourself. Do not assume that everyone already knows. Do not be silent, except if you are not convinced that Jesus has truly risen. Am I convinced? The life I have decided to live the life you have decided to live, the decision you have made, how you handle people around you, our honesty and sincerity, our willingness to help and to forgive one another, goes on to show if truly we have been risen with Christ. And my dear friends in the Lord, the best proof to show that we have resurrected with Jesus Christ is by letting our actions speak of the resurrection of Jesus. Our lives must reflect more than ever that we have encountered Jesus who is no longer dead but alive. As we go about, 
Today, as we go about our daily activities, I want you to have a Christ is alive consciousness. That's the message. As you go about your daily activities today, from today and beyond, have a Christ is alive consciousness. Remind yourself of his presence within you and around you. May your life proclaim that Jesus is alive. I wish you a blessed, happy Easter. May the resurrected Jesus Christ continue to give everyone here joy, happiness, peace of mind. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God strengthen you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All of us gathered here through the Paschal mystery have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. Now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us all renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So, my friends, I ask this, I ask this question to all of you. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the lure of evil, so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do you reject Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of God. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
Are we happy? <laughs> My dear friends, let us place our needs before God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into glory. Please respond, O oh God, hear our prayer. For the church, including our diocese and Bishop Neary, having been baptized into Christ's death and raised into the newness of life, may our words and actions proclaim hope and meaning in the world, we pray. For our world and the earth, may the Easter triumph of your grace empower all nations, leaders, and peoples to protect, restore, and join in your ongoing creation of abundant life, we pray. For the greater St. Cloud community, may the hope proclaimed by Easter empower us to resist the temptations in selfishness and indifference and to walk the path of solidarity with those among us experiencing poverty, homelessness, and weariness and into the fullness of life that you envision, we pray. For the parish and Father Joel, May we commit to the resurrection that happens when Christ rises in our hearts and we greet the world with the promise of new life, we pray. For those who have died, pray, may they rejoice in the fullness of your resurrection, we pray. For the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray. Almighty Father, your beloved Son has risen from the dead as he promised us. In peace and joy, we present our prayers to you through the same risen Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. is risen now the storm is cast away darkness gone and sin forgiven on this joyful day of days song of hope and love eternal from our hearts to you we raise in your death and life's renewal we pour forth our joyful praise. Hallelujah, Christ is risen from his death upon a cross. Now I'll share a common vision, love now reigns in story, love's new birth for all to see. From our God's almighty glory, sign of things to ever be. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Truth and justice from the grave and brought forth for all who listen new life from the life he gave now with joyful hearts and voices joined as one we share your love here in christ the world rejoices 
side now turn to God Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and joy. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to loud you yet more glori gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome we pass our joy. Every land, every people exhaust in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with, with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather your people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. For on the night he was in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Until you come again Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. As we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, St. John Newman, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Patrick Neri, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who we are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and our all the children to come forward. Let them come to the altar of God. Good. You can put him. Yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Happy Easter. Good. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Glory to God who does wondrous things. Let all the people God's praises all sing. All of creation in splendor shall ring. Hallelujah. Perfected in Jesus the Son. Hallelujah. 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 Now in our presence the Lord will appear. Shine in the faces of all of us here. Fill us with joy and cast on all our fear. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Call us good shepherd, we listen for you, wanting to see you in all that we do. We were the gate of salvation pass through, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we are open to all that you say, ready to listen and follow your way. You are the potter and we are the clay. Hallelujah, hallelujah. will protect us from fire and sword. Fill us with love and the peace of his word. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. On your way out this morning, you're welcome to grab an Easter cookie as you go off to celebrate Easter Sunday. And then just one announcement, the Newman office will be closed tomorrow, Easter Monday. Let us put our hands together for the choir. And for John Paul. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to thank everyone for your active participation in today's Mass. I wish you a happy Easter, a blessed Easter. Enjoy your ram, your goat, your cow. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now that the days of the lost passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the mass is handed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. is risen today.
Happy Easter.